Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on what is distributive lattice and what are the examples of distributive lattice that can be discussed in this video. In the previous video, we have to discuss about what is a bounded lattice and what are the properties of bounded lattice and what are the examples of bounded lattice that are discussed in the previous video if anybody wants please uh, refer that previous videos in my channel okay now in this video we have to go for what is distributive lattice okay first of all uh, let us consider l is a finite set that means l contains a finite number of elements and L comma less than or equal to B A lattice. When we say that L comma less than or equal to is lattice, okay, we consider any pair of elements of L okay, that contains both least upper bound and greatest lower bound. Okay. For every pair of elements of L, they should have both least upper bound and the greatest lower bound. Hence, we can say that L comma less than or equal to B A lattice. Now, this lattice L comma less than or equal to is said to be is said to be distributive lattice distributive lattice by satisfying two properties what are the two properties okay first one is okay let us consider any three elements a comma b comma c belongs to l okay i am taking three elements from the given set l okay for that three elements it should satisfy three two properties one is a join b meet c is equal to a join b a join b in between the meet we have to write a join c so this is the first distributive property next one second one is a meet b join c is equal to a meet b a meet B join A meet C. Okay. Whenever this lattice satisfies these two properties by taking three elements from the given set L, then L comma less than or equal to is, uh, is distributive lattice because it satisfies these two properties. So this is the definition of distributive lattice now we go for the definition a lattice a comma less than or equal to is said to be distributive lattice if and only if it satisfies the following property first one is a join b c is equal to a join b a join c in between them we have to put the operation next one second property a meet b join c is equal to a meet b a meet c in between them we have to put join operation okay so when a b c are the elements of set l okay hence we can say that lattice l is said to be distributive lattice thus it satisfies these two properties. Next, example problem. So, verify the following Hussey diagrams for lattices or distributive lattices or not. So, this is the first lattice for a Hussey diagram and this is the second lattice for a Hussey diagram. We have to verify that whether this diagram is this lattice is a distributive lattice or not. First, consider this lattice A. So, lattice A, so that means
means yeah, we am taking set L. L is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. So these are the four elements are there in the given set L. Okay. Now L is L is said to be L is said to be distributive lattice. Distributive lattice. If and only if it satisfies, it satisfies two properties. First property is A or A join B makes C is equal to A join B meets A join C. Okay. I am taking A, B, C value from the given set. I am taking A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, and C is equal to 3. Okay. Now we have to substitute these values in the above property. That means A value 1, 1 join, B value 2, 2 meet, C value 3, 2 meet 3 is equal to a join B it means 1 join 2 meet A join C 1 join 3. Okay. Now 1 join 2 meet 3. Okay. For elements 2 and for the pair elements 2 and 3, what is the meet operation? Meet operation is nothing but greatest square bound. So for the pair of elements 2 and 3, greatest square bound is a 1. This is 1. Is equal to 1 join 2. So, for the 1 and 2, what is the least upper bound? That is 2. And 1 join 3. For the pair of elements 1 and 3, least upper bound of 1 and 3 is 3. Okay. Now, 1 join 1. For the pair of elements 1 and 1. What is the least of 1? Is equal to 2 meet 3. The pair of elements 2 and 3. What is the joint? What is the meet operation? The operation is nothing but greater lower bound. For the pair of elements 2 and 3, what is the greatest lower bound? 1. So that is 1 is equal to 1. So first property satisfied. Okay, first property satisfied. Next, go for the second property. Second property is A meet B join C is equal to A meet B or join A meet C. Same values. So A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2. And C is equal to 3. Now we have to substitute these values in the above property. Okay. A value 1, one meet B joins C. Means to join 3. Value 2, C value 3. Is equal to A meet B. Means 1 meet 2. Or A meet C. 1 meet 3. Now, now, 1 and 2 join 3. 2 join 3 means least upper bound of pair of elements 2 and 3 is 4. So, this is 1 and 4. That is 1 and 4 is equal to 1 meet 2. For pair of elements 1 and 2, what is the greatest term? That is 1 join 1 3 for the pair of elements 1 and 3 what is the greatest pair bound that is 1 okay so, 1 1 meet 4 1 meet 4 what is the greatest lower bound of 1 and 4 that is a 1 is equal to 1 meet 1 sorry 1 join 1 so 1 join 1 means the least upper bound of of 1 and 1 is a 1. Okay. So
So therefore, one is equal to one. So the second property is also satisfied by the figure A. So therefore, by satisfying by satisfying properties properties one and two and two and we can say that and we can say that and we can say that figure A figure A is distributed like this figure A is distributive like this now we can go for figure B. Figure A is, is a distributive lattice of verifying these two properties. Now we can go for a second figure. We have to check whether this figure B is distributive lattice or not. Okay. Consider figure B. In that one, what the elements are there? Jo, 1, 2, 3 and i so these are the elements are there for this for this uh, five elements we have to verify that two distributive properties so figure b figure b is said to be this Distributive lattice. Distributive lattice. If and only if it satisfies satisfies the following properties. If it satisfies the following properties. So when B satisfy the following what we can say that figure B is a distributive lattice, otherwise it is not a distributive lattice. Now consider property one. A or B join sorry. A join B C is equal to A join B it A join C. So what is the first property? Join B meet C is equal to A join B meet A join C. Let us consider A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, and C is equal to 3. Now substitute these values in the O property. So A value is 1, so 1 join B meet C. B value 2 and C. Is equal to A join B. That means one join two and A join C. That is one join three. Okay. Now so one join two three. The pair of elements two and three. What is the greatest lower bound? Greatest lower bound is two. Is equal to next one join two. One join for the pair of elements 1 and 2, okay, what is the least upper bound? 1. 1. Eight. Join. So, for the pair of elements 1 and 3, okay, what is the least upper bound? That is I. That is That means 1 join 0 is equal to 1 meet. So 1 join 0. Okay. Here 1 is there. Here 0 is there. Okay. So what is the least upbound of 1 and 1 and 0? It is 1. What is the least upbound of 1 and 0? That is 1. Equal to 1 meet i. Here 1 i. What is the greatest lower bound of 1 and i? That is 1. So, 1 equal to 1. So, property 1 is satisfied. 
Okay. Now go for the second property. Second property is A meet B join C is equal to A meet B join A meet C. Okay. Substitute same as A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2 and C is equal to 3. Okay. Substituting the values, how equation becomes A value 2 meet B join C means 2 join 3 is equal to A meet B means 1 meet 2 join A meet C means 1 meet 3. Okay. Next. 1 meet 2 join 3. 2 join 3 means for the pair of element 2 and 3, what is the list of them? The list is I. Is equal to 1 meet 2. For the pair of element 1 and 2, the greater square bond is 2. Join 1 meet 3. For the pair of element 1 and 3, what is the greatest square bond? That is G. So that means the pair of elements 1 and I is the greatest logarithm. Is next the pair of elements 0 and 2. What is the least upper bound? Least upper bound is 2. Least upper bound is 2. Okay. So, 1 equal to 2? No. 1 not equal to 2. Therefore, not satisfied. Not, not satisfied. Because 1 not equal to 2. So, therefore, hence, we can say that we can say that figure B is not a distributed lattice. Figure B is not a distributed lattice because it satisfies first property but it does not satisfy the property. Because of that reason, we can say that the B is not a distributed lattice. Whereas figure A is a distributive lattice. In this way, we have to verify whether the then lattice is a distributive lattice or not by using this procedure. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel name. Uh,